Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to part four of my adventure. Um, let's show you what I did off screen. First, let's check out Pokemon. I got Eagle up to level 12, I got Phoenix up to level 12, and I got Jake up to level 12. They're definitely ready to take on the gym now. Um, that's what I'll probably be doing in this episode. Um, off screen, I got a Weedle named it Killer Bee. I evolved to do a Vakuna. If you want me to use this in a walkthrough, just say, and I'll do some serious scrunching off screen, like serious, serious high level training, and just get it up to a decent level. If you want me to use it off screen, just make a comment in either part one through part four, or any of my videos. Yeah. Like, I'm going to go on call team and just go, yeah, use it in your, use a uh, Killer Bee or Vakuna in your walkthrough. Be drills are cool and stuff. If you want me to use it, I'll try to use it unless I come across a better Pokemon that I want to use. You know what? If you choose a Pokemon, I'll take it into a suggestion, but you never know. I might take it, I might not. Alright, um, this gym is very easy to see. There's only one gym trainer in here. He's really not that big of a deal. Let's just put, uh, Jake up front, because he's got the biggest chance of low kick to defeat these guys. It's like you're 10,000 light years away from facing Brock. Oh, uh, no, I'm actually in only a few steps. Kid, uh, I think you need to learn your amount of distance. So, of course, he doesn't really have any strong Pokemon like Brock, because I think his strongest is level 12 Sand Crew. Low Kick does some good damage against Geodude, of course. Um, I want, really want to use a Needle King, if you think I should. Leave that in the comments, because Needle Kings are awesome. I really like Needle Kings, they're pretty cool. See, like I said, he has a Sand Crew. This should be a bit more of a problem than that Geodude, honestly. But it's only on a level 11, and he's no problem. Really, I think I'm going to be able to take on Brock today. Let's go with Karate Chop. Let's go with Karate Chop again. Hopefully to kill it. For the kill. Of course, Jake beats him. I would go back and heal, but I do have a potion, so... You know what? We're going to go for it. We're going to take on Brock. We're really gonna go for it. We have plenty of time left to beat Brock. And if I don't, I'm gonna not show this on YouTube more than likely. Well, you know what? Even if I lose, I'll show it more than maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. You know what if I lose? You know, it's a well learned lesson. We still have like two minutes left. He's got rock type Pokemon, so your fighting type moves will blow him out of the water. So hopefully Jake can get up to level 13 by the end of this episode. Brock, he kind of looks cool in his His Geodude's not a problem. It's only level 12. His Onyx, that's level 14, still shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to Karate Chop him. Hopefully kill the Geodude. Which I don't. I do some good damage, though. He's going to use Defense Curl, which is annoying. Um, let's go for a Karate Chop again. Yay! I more than likely will be starting a Pokemon Crystal walkthrough by in the next week or so. So if you're watching this and want to see a Crystal walkthrough, even if, if it, well, if you don't, just don't watch it. I'm doing it anyway because I really want to replay that Crystal. Because Crystal, second generation Pokemon are the best ever. I mean, it go up, it goes up from season from the first gen, and then goes down after season two. Onyx. This is a very useful Pokemon. Well, not really useful. It's a good experience getter, though. So, Karate Chop. Doesn't do about half. He's gonna use Rock Tomb, unfortunately. I think there's a move that you get if you defeat him. And it's not really well, it's not really that worth using unless you really want a Rock type on your team. If you really need a Rock type Pokemon because you're having trouble taking out Flying types or something. And unfortunately, I didn't kill him. But he missed the tackle, and Karate Chop will finish him off. And we have four minutes left. We take on the gym and we'll get our running shoes today. Um, really, that wasn't that difficult. Wow, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be since I did a lot of training. I might do some on-screen training now. I might actually do some on-screen training of Killer B. Or maybe not, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Now you can use a flash outside of battle, but you really don't need it yet. Alright, um, you receive TM39. Let's 
I got a Pokemon now. Summary. We have Jake, level 13, Phoenix, level 12, and Eagle, level 12. Not bad at all. I want them all at least level 16 or so by the time I go up against Cerulean Gem. Probably level 20 by the time I even do that. But I'm going to need to catch some other Pokemon by then. Like a grass type or a poison type, but let's just go get our running shoes and start on the next little route. You walk over here now, and you'll notice the guy has gone up center right there. Talk to the aide. He's like, oh, Brad, I'm glad I cut up with you. This is the running shoes, and here you go. Take the running shoes. And your mom gives it to him, and... He walks, which takes a little bit, so now let's run. Yeah, mom's gonna have a nose dash to it. Let's go into the Pokemon Center. Heal up real quick before we go into the next route. I will not. I will be doing that on screen because it's a really fun route. Let's heal up. Oh yeah, that's all of them. You know what? Why not? Let's try to get B. Uh, let's try to get Killer B at the level 10. I doubt I can do that in four minutes, but if not, I'll just do some off-screen training for him too. I really don't know if I want to use him. So, I mean, Beedrills are awesome, but you know what? I'll decide later. Right now, he might be useful in the team. Ah, it's hard to decision, though. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna use him. I'm gonna catch a Nidoran now. And use a Nidoking in the game. Because Nidorans are much better at poison types. Because Nidokings own everything they come in contact with. What to do now, since we've done everything in Pewter City that you can really do? Let's just run around here for a minute, looking for some items. If you see any dark spots on the ground, there are berries there. We can get berries quite yet, though. We could take on the first part of this route. Let's just take on a trainer over here. Let's get Phoenix up to level 13. See if I can get him all up to level 13. Ooh, there's a bug type. Let's take on this, uh, bug type trainer. We've taken on, like, 10 bug type trainers in the last few episodes, but, you know what? Who cares? I have three Pokemon, he has three Pokemon. This should be fun. Let's go with Ember. In the next episode, we will be taking on all the trainers on this route, so there'll just be a lot of battling. And it'll be just be a lot of fun. You know, um... Unfortunately, Amber didn't kill the Caterpie in one hit, which kind of makes me sad. I want them all up to level at least 20. I got them up to level 12, so if I get them up to level 24 before I even go near the second gem, it'd be great, but I'm probably going to have to do some off-screen training with some other Pokemon. Phoenix is level 13 now, which is good, and even Metal Claw. That's even awesome. Um, he's about to send out a Weedle, so let's go with Eagle. She hasn't had an, any on-screen time, and she evolved at level 18, so she needs some leveling up. She's going to be there soon, too. Let's go with Gust. Ooh, and take out the Weedle in one hit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's the way Eagle does it. Yeah. Almost level 13. It'll be there soon. Maybe by the end of this episode, which I doubt unless that catches like level 10. It could be a Butterfree by now. I'd rather be fighting a Butterfree. Because they're cooler. And more deadly. And it's scary. Alright. I... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You know what? I'm gonna go fight in some grass. I wish I could pause my camera, and I'm just gonna get him up to level 13. Oh, snap. You're gonna beat it! Let's see if I can uh, beat this trainer real quick. If not, I'll just cut it off short. Son of a bitch. You whore. She has a Pidgey. Phoenix should be able to take care of that. Burr it. You know what? I might be able to beat this trainer, and I might not. If not, I'll have uh, Eagle take out the last Pokemon. Metal Claw. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, come on. That's so gay. Stupid sand attack makes me meet my accuracy level. I'm running out of time. I'm at 9 minutes and like 45 seconds. I'm really running out of time here. Alright, she's about to send out another Pidgey. Let's go with Eagle to see which Pidgey is better. Pidgey versus Pidgey. Whose Pidgey is better? 
What an epic way to end an episode, a Pidgey vs. a Pidgey. To find out who's is better. I'll use Gust. Hopefully get some good damage in. Ooh, yeah, I like that. I'll use Gust again! This is an epic way to end an episode. I'll probably end it with me killing this Pidgey and getting a level 13 Eagle. Gust is what, how it's gonna end, and... Level 13 Pidgey. Yeah, so Eagle's up to level 13 now. I would love to have him up to level 15 before he can go on this route, but that's not gonna happen. And it learned Quick Attack. Hey, Eagle learns Quick Attack. Alright, um, I'm gonna go to Pokemon Center real quick, heal up, and I'll see you next time. Let's just run over this way real quick. Let's get to Pokemon Center first. We took on two trainers. We only battled three, four trainers in this episode, one being a Jumbly Girl. See you next time.